I'm going to show you how to set up a vocal vowel ah patch using four modules, uh, two VCOs, a filter, and a VCA. Um, the basics of this patch are, are really simple, so I'm going to walk you through it. Um, the, both the oscillators are being controlled frequency-wise from uh, the controller, in my case, a French connection. You're only hearing oscillator two right now. Uh, the button on the French connection is controlling the VCA. There's nothing magical what's going on there. And so it's it's like a very basic subtractive patch at this point. The oscillator, oscillator 2 is going into the filter, filter is going into the VCA, and that's that. Um, so it's really a matter of some of the magic of twizzling the, uh, the knobs here until we get the right effect. Uh, the first thing we want to do is manipulate the filter a little bit and at this point we're just going to set it up. It's not going to sound you know, uh, more like a vocal patch when I'm done with it but um, you'll have a better idea how to set up the patch. Okay so we'll switch it to band pass. I'll bring the cutoff down to about 500 so you can actually hear it. And I'm going to bring up the resonance to about halfway where you know 10 is self oscillation, 0 is nothing at all, about halfway for me. And I've got the button from the French connection also patched into the cutoff frequency, or the center frequency in the case of bandpass. So you can hear me moving the bandpass, depending on how hard I press the button there. Now, of course, you don't have to use a French connection. You can use a MIDI controller. I prefer using the French connection because it allows me to more directly express the sound. Um, but you can do all these things with a standard controller, so I don't feel like you have to get a French connection in order to do this. Um, the next thing we're going to do, and this is probably the, the most important aspect to getting the sound, we're going to use oscillator 1 to uh, sync oscillator 2. So oscillator 1 is providing the sync. I'm using the, the Schwemann VCO2RM because it has two matched oscillators with a built-in sync switch, so I'm going to power that on. And the sounds changed, but when I um, when I change the frequency of oscillator one, we're going to hear some timbral changes, especially when it gets down to the the lower range there. Now, in addition to that, I've taken the output of oscillator one, which again we're not hearing. Oscillator one set to um, a sawtooth, by the way, and I'm going to frequency modulate the the center frequency of from from you know oscillator one and this is going to create kind of like some sort of semblance of some weird um, additional peaks and you can hear the effect of the button kind of opening that up a bit more now here's here's the part that you have to be you know kind of play with the amount of frequency modulation from oscillator 1, the frequency of oscillator 1, and the cutoff frequency, or the center frequency, are the three parameters that are crucial to making this patch happen. So, do we have sync on? Yes, we do. All right, great. So what we're listening for is kind of a formant sound down in this area. It's a little bit low, but let me... the cutoff frequency a little bit. Maybe that's too much. And then lower that a little bit. Let's add some reverb with the uh, Z5000 tip top. I love this thing. That's actually pretty close. One more thing I might want to do is take the uh, joystick output from the French connection. And I noticed that if you, um, here, listen to this. We can get some more timbral variations by uh, adjusting the frequency of oscillator 2. So I'm going to frequency modulate that with uh, 
the joystick so we can kind of get some different uh it it kind of sounds like like shaping the note with uh, your mouth so it's almost like a mouth filter That's a you know a real simple uh, vocal ah patch with just four modules. So you could probably patch this up on many different uh, synthesizers or anything with two oscillators, sync, and a bandpass filter, and very even even the most modest modular. Hope this helps. Thanks. <laughs>